Inside of Jet Engine, we could create taxonomies for our custom post type, which is sessions. So basically, we could create a taxonomy for class type, you know, so it might be aerobics, weight training, cardio, and things like that. We could also go and create a category for the name of the trainer. So we could have a list of them. There's many things we could do and taxonomies is the norm. But I have found for all right and wrong reasons that I like to use the glossaries, especially with the way it feeds through into the custom fields that we will be adding to our custom post type. Let me explain a little bit more. So down here we have taxonomies. I could, if I want, go and click add new. I could go and give this a name, class type, and it will give you a slug. And then I could say that this is going to be applicable to sessions. So what you want to do is make sure you scroll down and find your custom post type. So this is where you don't want to call your custom post type revisions because you already got the word revisions there. So you could go and do that. And then we could start adding in some further details. I actually am not going to create the taxonomy. So I'm just going to jump back out of that. So as you can see, if we go to sessions, we do not have a taxonomy there. Instead, I'm going to go to glossaries and I'm going to build it out here. So let's create our first one. I'm going to call this class type and the data source is going to be set items manually. You could go for an uploaded file. So let's say you've got like a thousand different class sessions in your gym, or maybe you're uploading like all the countries and cities in the world. You could just upload from a CSV, which I think is a really, really good feature of Jet Engine. So, but we're just going to do it manually. So I'm going to go and click new field and I'm going to type over here aerobics like that. We'll stick that in and I'll put that as the field label. I'm not going to set this to be selected. So when you do start to pick one of these items, you don't have, it won't be pre-selected for you. Basically, it's not going to say aerobics and then you now have to like either uncheck it or go and pick something else. I'm going to say that you have complete freedom over what you pick. So we've got aerobics, we're going to drop in a few more fields. So there we go. I've got aerobics, cardio, spin cycling and weight training. And I'm just going to hit save over there. That is our glossary. And believe me, it makes things so much easier when you start to now basically use some of the other features in here when we come to do the custom fields. Believe me, it, it's so simple and easy to do. We're now going to create a new glossary and this one is going to be called trainer like that. And again, this is going to be done manually. Now. I could, if I want, create a custom post type for trainer. OK, so we've got the session and we'll add our stuff. I could do one with trainer. I mean, into that, I could have loads of custom fields like name, age, experience, education, qualification, stuff like that. I could do that. The reason why I'm not doing that is basically because I'm going to have a session and there will be a one to one relationship. You'll have a session and that is then one trainer. There is a trainer and they only cover that particular session or they cover those kind of sessions. If, however, you were going to have like a one to many and you can do relations as well with your engines, which I'm not covering off just yet. What the one to many almost is, is that let's say you've got a dentist surgery and inside of that dentist surgery, there are five dentists. And the service you're going for is root canal treatment. Why would you go and select it? But let's say you could go for it. So you select root canal surgery and then you're told, well, there are five dentists. Who do you want to pick? And then you go and pick the dentist and then you would obviously do your appointment or your booking via them. But in this scenario, you got a session and then that session is only ever done by Mr. X or Mrs. X or someone like that. Therefore, I don't need to start worrying about having multitude or a one to many. I'm not explaining that very well. But I will cover that off later on when we do eventually get to setting up appointments and bookings, how we could have done it in two different ways. But for simplicity, I'm just going to go with a trainer glossary. So I've gone and added that and I'm now going to go and add in my six people. I've gone and added in my six trainers. It's really quick and easy to do this. Right, let's just hit save on that. Let's minimize our trainer. And then I'm going to add in a third glossary. This is going to be called level. Again, this is going to be done manually and this is going to be pretty simple. Again, I think you can guess where I'm going with this. We're going to have beginner, intermediate and advanced. We're going to hit save. And you know what? We're going to do one more final glossary. We're going to call it session type. You could argue that maybe session type and class type could have been reversed in the way they are, but I don't mind that group online and venue. And again, we're going to save that. So you can kind of see that I'm trying to think of lots of bases here. 
because I want to give you a lot of options. And yeah, it might feel like overkill, but if you get them all in, it's going to make it so much easier and presentable when you start to pull this through onto a single post template. And it will make sense when we get to that.